Today could be the greatest work day in the history of Lucas Ellington in the fact that we are going here. Not to just play soccer, but to play bubble soccer. And I am going to crush this fool. It's gonna be awesome. I hope, I really hope I don't get injured. This seems like some, one of those things where I have really like high hopes going into it, and then I get injured the first play of the game. That's probably how it's gonna go. <laughs> but it's gonna be fun. All right, so here's the course. That's what we're getting in. We're getting in those bubbles, and we're gonna run into each other and smash. Michael's ready. Michael's mad because I haven't played racquetball with him in forever. Mad. And so now he's gonna take it out on the bubble soccer field. This looks pretty fun. I've always wanted to do this, and now we finally get to it. It's gonna be pretty cool. All right, here we go. Game one is about to get going. This is our this is our opponents over here, Sing Ming, and this is uh, our team, Team Sandlot. I even have a team jersey. I'm really excited. Wow. Are you guys scared? No. What, what do you mean? I'm a little scared. I was excited until it's like game time. Now I'm a little nervous. But it's gonna be cool. Are you getting in? Yeah, I'm getting in. Let's see it. Come on. Hey, son. I, son. Uh, I can't tell. Yeah, you're good now. You, you just jump in like that? Oh, oh man. Oh gosh, that's pretty hard. I don't think my little GoPro is going to work. Ah! Alright, I got to get suited up. Look at this dude. Wow. Oh man, we were on the same team. Me, wow. Kim. Wow, that was a tough one. Tom. How are you not sweating? Uh, I feel like I'm sweaty in my pits I, I, and my back. My back is super sweaty right now. Yeah. I think we should step outside the 106 degree weather. Right. Uh, yeah, sure. yeah, there's no air conditioning in here, just fans. And it's honestly not as hot as I thought it was going to be, but it's still really hot. It's very hot. It's still really hot. Team Victor. But we lost three to one. It was a good game. That is so tiring. I had no idea. Anybody get to make it out of there alive? That's true. We survived, so we're winners. We're winners. One key element when you're playing bubble soccer with a big group is always be the first team to play. Why? Look at my good friend Thomas here. Do you notice anything about his um, moisture level? He's slightly sweaty, which means the, the bubble he was using is completely soaked. 
And guess who's not in that bubble now? Tom. Guess who is? Somebody else is bathing in the glory of Tom's sweat. So, people pay for that. First rule of bubble soccer is be the first person in the bubble. You're welcome. One thing that I've discovered that Judah likes, especially when he's a little bit fussy, is to look in the mirror and look at himself. It's really cute. Are you looking at the baby? No, you're not. You're looking at the camera. He wants to look at you guys. Hi, look at the baby. Look at the baby. You're looking at everything but the baby. Look at the cute little baby in the mirror. I guess he doesn't really want to look at himself in the mirror today. He had another shot today at the doctor. My bangs are in my face all the time. Oh, sorry about that. Um, yeah, he got another shot today at the doctor because we've decided that we um, we're, we're not against vaccinations at all, but I also have some concerns. So we've decided what's best for us is that we just want to space out his shots instead of giving them all at once because he gets, um, well, you're supposed to get them all at two months and then again all at four months, but we've kind of, you know, just spaced them out as much as we can so he's not getting all the shots at once. Um, so we got another one today, so he's a little tired and a little fussy, so I'm trying all the little tricks I can to keep him happy. But he has been sleeping a lot today, which has been good, so he's definitely a rested baby. Look at how cute these little socks are. I didn't even know they made these things. They've got little rattles attached to them, so when he moves his feet, he rattles. Rattle them for us, Judah. Rattle your feet. Oh, Bozzy! Bozzy, he wants his rattles! Oh no! No, oh, Bozzy! You wanna go against the wall? Or no, just run at each other. <laughs> yeah. You wanna run like, at each other? Yeah, just meet it at half field. I would say you stand right here still. When I get to you, jump up as high as you can. <gasps> I'm gonna die! Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the Hulk of Panda. This is Jason. And as you can see, he's slightly bigger than I am. So when I heard we were doing this, I immediately thought of Jason. And I was like, I want you to run into me as hard as possible. So that's what you're going to see. So here we go. Jason's going to smash me. The plan is he's going to start down there. And I'm going to stand at half field or what mid midfield. And as he gets close, I'm going to jump. And he's going to launch me until tomorrow. Pretty much did. You landed on your head. Well, was that as scary as as it was in the ball? It seemed scary. Yeah, it was pretty scary. Yeah. Your I'm head, okay. Your head could have touched the, the ground. That was awesome. I recommend that to anyone. Awesome. Did you feel helpless? Huh? Did you feel helpless? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Somehow, Tom and I got on another team, on Gene's team. Woo! And now we're in the finals. We lost our first game, but we won our second one when we changed teams. And now we're going to play the championship game. And we're exhausted. And we're playing our bosses, so this could be fun. Well, somehow we pulled it off. We won the championship. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, that's so tiring. I got hammered pretty good in that one. I'm a little, uh, little dazed after that. But we won. I don't know what we get other than bragging rights. But I'll take that too. It's Thursday, which means it's softball day. But not only is it softball day, it's playoff. 
softball day. Today is uh, round one, so if we win tonight, we move on to the championship. Yeah, there's not a lot of rounds in our playoffs. It's odd because this year I don't feel like I'm near as nervous as I have been in the past. Maybe it's just because I have a hole that I almost stepped in. Anyway, it's maybe because I have like other priorities in my life now, like a kid. And other things that used to be super important aren't as important anymore. That's just my theory. I don't know. Also, we are day one post-bubble soccer. And I am feeling it. My neck is super sore. I'm sore in muscles I kind of forgot I had. But I guess that happens when you play like an obscure thing like that. You use muscles that you just aren't used to using. It's kind of funny. There's a lot of people like either missing from work today or just also really sore. Well, I'm here. Whoa, blinding light, there we go. I'm here, it's time to get suited up and ready to go. We are warmed up. It looks like everyone's uh, ready to go. So it looks like it's game time and I think I'm pitching first, so I gotta get out there. Well, it uh, it didn't happen. We lost, but it was oh, it was so close. We started off not great. We were losing, and they were a good team, and I knew it. And I just I had a feeling that it, it might go that way, so I had mentally prepared myself for possibly losing badly, but still wanted to win and still was going to play hard. And it started off kind of how I thought it might. And so I was like, all right, well, we're just going to have fun. We're just going to play this out, see what happens. And then we started coming back. We started playing really well and we were holding them and we were scoring runs and we even took the lead. I did not, I didn't see that coming the way the game started. And I was, I was like so excited and so into it. And then the wheels fell off and they scored like 10 runs in in one inning in like this in like their last at bat they scored 10 runs and then we had to score i don't know like five or six to catch back up to them and it uh just didn't happen so it was a crushing defeat to be that close to victory that close to moving on when i thought there was no hope and then you got hope and then it they just life just takes it from you <sighs> that's okay that's okay there's always next season, right? But anyway, the, I guess the silver lining is I have band practice right now, which I'm exhausted, but at least I get to go bang on some drums. <laughs> 